Hey everyone, welcome back to The Coily Code. My name is Charnel, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to grow your TWA to shoulder length in less than three years. So it took me three years, but we're gonna get into some game-changing tips on how you can do it in less than that amount of time. Stay with me till the end because I have two bonus insights up my sleeve that's going to help you to continue growing your hair in as little time as possible. All right, our first tip keep your hair moisturized every single day and i mean spritzing your your twa with water every day you can put a little bit of oil to kind of help it seal but every day spritz your hair with water not drenching it wet but just giving it a little bit of moisture while twas are super cute they dry very fast and i find that whether you have low porosity or high porosity that it's going to dry very quickly because again all of the hair the ends are exposed to the air as soon as possible so it is important to make sure you're spritzing your hair now if you don't want to spritz your hair every day i also find that a wash and go regimen is perfectly suited for those with twas if you adopt a wash and go regimen you'll be layering your hair with gels and oils and that's going to help keep the moisture in so much longer also about TWAs is because it's so short and the likelihood for damage because of manipulation is significantly lower, you can actually wash your hair more often. You can increase your wash day frequencies when you have a TWA. It's not going to damage your hair. It's not going to do anything because there's nothing to break off. It's a good time to train your hair to hold on to moisture. Tip numero dos oils you want to oil up like a pro one of my favorite mixtures of oil was jamaican black castor oil sweet almond oil and an essential oil peppermint oil mixing these beauties together is going to bless your scalp and your hair now let me break down god's goodness on humanity concerning these oils. Jamaican black castor oil is the ultimate scalp moisturizer. It has impressive anti-inflammatory properties and it's great for boosting hair growth. The almond oil is a perfect sealant and it is a great heat protectant as well. But the key thing on why I use sweet almond oil with the castor oil is because the almond oil can actually penetrate the hair shafts. This will also make your hair look shiny and also protecting it from heat. And lastly, peppermint oil. Tea tree oil is also pretty good, but I prefer peppermint because I like the smell. Peppermint oil has been shown to increase hair growth, balance sebum production, treats dryness, and soothes itching. These three together, I know what I was using in my TWA phase, bar none. <laughs> You know that awkward length we talked about some time ago? Well, between the TWA and shoulder length, there's this weird place that your hair is in. And the best thing you could possibly do at this point is to install a long-term protective style. When I was in between these two lengths, it was the most frustrating thing to watch my hair sit there because it just looks like it's not growing and granted it was i just felt that those awkward lanes are so close to each other whether it's too long or too short you can't tell the difference so what helped me was to install a long-term protective style whether that was once every two weeks once a month hiding my hair away whether that means braids mini twists a style that you will not readily take out because it took you so long to put it back in if you're like me and you like a good wig or two wigs are perfect for that and it allows you to style your hair and let it look as raggedy as possible but just pop that wig on and nobody will ever know <laughs> let's get into the bonus tips i promised you once you get out of the twa and you can grip your hair more and so on this will be a good time to minimize how often you're washing your hair because again as little manipulation as possible is going to give you the highest yield on your length retention so go from once a week to once every two weeks and if you can go longer than that by all means do it i will be sharing with you guys how i have been able with my sensitive itchy scalp flaky scalp i have been able to not only eliminate flaking eliminate itching but i haven't washed my hair guys in almost almost two months if you have a bougie scalp like me and you've been wondering hey i want to do a long-term protective style but my scalp can't take it thumbs this video up if it gets to 30 thumbs up i 
will do the video for you guys. But granted, let's just be honest, I'm gonna post the video anyway. <laughs> so, kid you not guys, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. I had the scalp that would not allow me to keep a protective salon for more than two weeks. Let alone, it would be itching by day three after the wash day, so I'm telling you. And the second bonus tips, don't trim your hair. I, I know what the licensed people are saying. I know what the cosmetologists are saying. Don't do it. Now, the reason it took me as long as it did to go from TWA to shoulder length is because I was trimming my hair so much because I kept buying into this idea that if I don't cut off the split ends, it's gonna split up to the shop, it's gonna break, and I'm not gonna retain length, and so on and so forth. But here's the thing. If you're not straightening your hair and wearing it straight or blow drying it all the time or wearing it in loose, low manipulation hairstyles, there's no reason to trim your hair. No reason at all. So if you want to get on a protective style regimen where it's more protective style heavy like mine is, go ahead and do one good trim every year and protective style like 90% of the year. And then the 10% you can always use for styling your hair for fun. But I just find it, it was so dumb. That's why it took me so long. I kept chopping. I was just, and I did that with my sister. I was like, we have to keep our ends crisp. We gotta keep them clean. But girl, you're not wearing it straight. What are you doing? So yeah, don't trim your hair. I haven't trimmed my hair in over, I would say six months. My ends do not tangle. My ends look really good. My ends are curling. I do not have as many single strand knots as when I was trimming before. And if you see a really bad tangle, go ahead and snip it, but I haven't trimmed my hair in six months and now I'm on a once a year schedule and I'm glad I did and I'm retaining length like never before. So trust me, if you're not wearing your hair in those styles that really showcase your ends or you're trying to wear a fluffy afro or whatever, or you want like a clean shape, you have no reason to be trimming your hair. I, You don't need to do it. And there you have it everyone, my ultimate tips for growing your hair from a TWA to shoulder length. I want you to share in the comments below what length are you currently at right now and where are you ultimately wanting to get to? Maybe length is not even a goal for you, but I just want to know. I'm interested in those details about you guys. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Have a good one you guys. Bye! My darling. Oh, he's so big now. Do you guys, any of you guys remember Charlie? He was so little when I, he was, he was pretty big, but he wasn't his like. Oh, baby.